Hello friends in this video tutorial we are going to learn how to fetch or select data from MySQL database table and code igniter framework. In previous video we have show how can we insert data into MySQL table and code igniter framework. In this video tutorial we will fetch data from MySQL table and display that data on web page by using functionality of models view controllers of code igniter framework. This is my testing database and in this database we have one table user with three column like id, first name and last name, we have already inserted some data into this table, we will fetch this data from this table and display on web page in our code igniter framework application. Before we proceeds for fetching data from this, first we have make database connection. But we have already made database connection in our previous video of insert data in code igniter application. But for making database connection in code igniter framework, we have to go to config folder and in that folder we should open database.php file and fill some required information like host name set to local host, username set to root, password set to blank, and database name set to testing. This way we can make database connection in code igniter application. Now we have proceeds to select data from MySQL database and show on web page. We want to display data on web page which load view file main view.php. So first we have to open views file main view.php and in that file we want to display data below the insert data form. So for this below this HTML data form we have defined one table with four table heading like id, first name and last name, under this table we want to display data which we have to fetch from MySQL table, so for this first we have go to models file main model.php and in that file we want to write function for fetching data from user table. So for this we have open models main model.php file and in that file function we have to function for fetch data from user table. So we have write function fetch data for fetch data from table user. In this function, we will show you different way to fetch data from MySQL table and code igniter application. First we have show you how to retrieve all records from user table using get function. So for this we have write dollar query variable is equal to this with database class object db with get function with one argument, which is table name from which you want to fetch data, here we want to fetch data from user table, so we have write table user. This will produce this type of select query and it will run this select query and returns the result. In result it will retrieve all records form a table and store into this query variable. Now we want to get the output of this fetch data function. So for this we have write return statement with dollar query variable. This will return the output of this fetch data function in which we have stored the result of all records of the user table. For sending this result of this fetch data function to web page, for this first we want to load this models into main controller and in that controllers we can call this models fetch data function and store result data in controller variable and then after we will load main view and pass that controller data into the then after we can show user data on web page. So that first we have go to controllers and open main controller and in that we have go to index function of this main controller and first we have load main model. So for this we have write dollar this with loading class object load with model function with one argument like which model you want to load. Here we want to load main model. So here we have write main model. Here this code will load main model. After loading main model into this index function, now we can call any function of main model. Here we have to call fetch data function. So for this first we have write dollar data array with fetch data keys is equal to dollar this with main mode with fetch data function. This code will call main models fetch data function and get result of data and store into this data array variable. Now we want to pass this variable data to main view page, 
So for this we have write dollar this with load with view function with two argument. In first argument we have write which view file you want to load. Here we want to load main view.php file. So we have write main view and in second argument which data you want to pass to this view page. Here we have stored data into this array of data variable. So we have write dollar data variable. This way we can pass data to view page. Now we have go to main view.php file and on this file first we have to print data which we have received from controllers. By writing keys of array variable we can access this data which we have received from controllers to view page. From controllers we have stored data and to fetch data keys. So for this on we page we have write dollar fetch data. This way we can access the controllers data which we have passed during the loading of view. In this fetch data we have stored the result of data which we have retrieved from user table. So for this first we want to check how number of rows for is there data are available or not. So for this we have write if statement with dollar fetch data with num rows function greater than zero. Here num rows function return the number of rows returned by the query. So this condition will check if number of row greater than zero then it will execute if block of code. Otherwise it will execute else block of code. Suppose number of rows is equal to zero that means it will execute else block of code. So in else block we have to print on table row with on table data with call span is equal to three with text like a no data found. That means suppose there is no data in user table then it will print this message on web page in table. But suppose there is data in to user table, so it will execute if block of code. So for we want to fetch data from this fetch data variable, so for this we have write for each loop open and close bracket and between bracket we have write dollar fetch data variable with result function as dollar row variable. Here result method returns the query result as an array of objects or an empty array on failure and by using for each loop we can access the all array of object by dollar row variable as a reference variable. Then after we want to print the array of objects into table format. So for this we have write open and close table row tag and between this tag we have write three table data tag. In first tag we want to print a table column, so we have write echo statement with dollar row variable with an object. In second table data we want to print first name table column, so we have write dollar row variable with first name object and in third table data we want to print last name table column, so we have write dollar row variable with last name object. This way it will print all user table data into this table format and we can show on web page. Now we have saved this code and check out what in browser. Friends you can see that your user table data we can view on this web page in table format. When we have insert data into HTML form, then after inserting data we can we on web page. Now we have show how many different way we can write code for fetch data from table. So for this we have again go to main models file. Here we have show how can fetch data using by simple direct write query. So for this we have write query variable is equal to dollar this with database class object db with query function with one argument like query select star from table user order by id in descending order. This query function returns a database result object and store into this query variable and by return statement we can send the output of this function. Now we have saved this code and check output in browser. Friends you can see that your user table data we can view on this web page in table format. When we have insert data into HTML form, then after inserting data we can we on web page. Now we have again go to main model page and write some other code for fetching data from table. On this main model page, we have go to fetch data function and comment code and then after we have write dollar this with database class object db with select function. In this function which table column data you want to fetch, 
Suppose you want to fetch all column data then you can write star sign. Then after we have write dollar this with database class object db with from function and in this function you can define table name from which you want to fetch data. Here we want to fetch data from table user. So here we have write table user. This code will produce simple select query. Now we want execute query. So for this we have write query variable is equal to dollar this with database class object db with get function with no argument. It will run the select query and returns the result. Now we have saved this code and check on browser. Friends you can see that your user table data we can view on this web page in table format. When we have insert data into HTML form, then after inserting data we can we on web page. So friends in this video tutorial we have show how to fetch data from MySQL table data and show that on web page. In this process first we have write function fetch data into main models file and then after we have load main models into main controller index function and then after we have called fetch data function of main model file and get result of user table and store into controller data variable and pass that data variable value to view page and on view page we can show that data on web page. This way all process of fetching data are done in CodeIgniter application. So friends if you like this video tutorial on how to select or retrieve data from MySQL table and show on web page in CodeIgniter application, please share this video tutorial with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. Friends you want to get more update of my video, so, friends you can subscribe my YouTube channel. Friends you can also like my Facebook page also or you can also follow Webs Listen on Twitter.